hello hello everybody it is your girl brush and i'm back with another video don't forget to comment like subscribe hit the notification bell button so you never miss a video when i do upload <coughs> don't forget to share my videos forever with whoever so they know you rocks with your girl though shout out to my da, 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 22 subscribers i am getting these subscribers and i'm just telling y'all i am just so grateful for y'all like y'all don't understand i love y'all shout out to my 22 subscribers i love y'all um <laughs> i love y'all just know the love is highly appreciated and i'm forever grateful for y'all for rocking with your girl um I know we're behind on week three of Vlogmas. I know. Life, honey. Life. But week one and two, of course, is live already on my channel. So y'all go ahead, find a video, watch some, click some, like some, share some. Um, I do have just my two cents up. I have a just my two cents coming. Because, baby, <laughs> the foolishness of the celebrities. And we're going to talk about it. Um, I probably wound up doing like a two-part one. Yeah, because it's, it's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. But I have to figure out like what I want to talk about. But that's neither here nor there. Um, don't forget to always check the description bar down below. You will always find the playlist for all my uh, videos that I have done thus far. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So this is going to be a What You're Watching Vlogmas review on the movie Every Day is Christmas. Starring Tony Braxton. The movie came out I think a couple years ago. Um, and it was on Lifetime. Um, so this movie is basically like a remix to spin on A Christmas Carol. Um, so you have Tony Brax's character, Alexis Taylor. She owns like this large, I want to say, financial company. And she hates Christmas. And the reason Alexis hates Christmas is because 20 years ago, her mom and dad died. I believe in a car accident. And sisters hated Christmas ever since. So she wound up telling her staff, you know, y'all not getting no Christmas bonuses. Y'all gonna have to bring y'all ass to work on Christmas. Yeah, I ain't got time for y'all foolishness. Because y'all not around here meeting the quotas. No, we not doing it. So mind you, her boyfriend that showed up around there, who was played by the guy. Um, I forgot that man's name. But he played Jason in Power. Jason... Mitchum or whatever his name was. He played her boyfriend. Who come around and like, we're going to go to Bali. Let's go to Bali. Let's turn up. Which I think they was trying to say Bali. But you know. So. He was like, let's go to Bali. Da -da -da -da. He came around there with a cute little bathing suit. Gave her this little hat. Glasses. And just the physical comedy of her sitting there like. With the way she looked with it on her face. And she was like, yeah, no. We're not doing it. So, um, go and take your stuff. And go and go bye bye. Okay, this ain't it, boo. This ain't it. Bye. I think his name was Paul. I think his name was Paul. She said, Bye, Paul. I don't get about to this. So, now you she's still in the office. She's working late. Her assistant comes in there with this box. And she's like, I found it with all the other presents. Um, There was a car, but I just thought you might want to see what this is. So, she opens the box, and it's a picture of her, her mom, and her dad. And so she like, where the hell did this come from? And so as she's looking at the picture, her mom pops up in the background. And she was like, what the hell? She's like, mm -mm, it's time for me to go. So after everybody to leave, you know, take the liquor and cookies and leftover food because they got to come back to work tomorrow. She leaves. She go downstairs to meet her driver. With a thing of cookies and she put a bottle of wine in her purse. She was like, you got family coming over to your house, right? Here you go, some cookies. So, he get in the car. He like, you know, talking about the holidays. Whoop the whoop. She on her phone. She pay him no attention. And then they pull up at this house. And they're like, Alexis, I'm going to show you the angel house. And how pretty the lights is on this house. And she's like, I'm not getting out this goddamn car. And so, he wound up taking her phone from her. And, um, I'm congested. So, excuse me. So, um, he took her phone from her and he like, just get out the car. And so when she looks, 
she sees her mom again. And she was like, is that my mom? And he turned around like, girl, what? I don't see nobody. He was like, you all right? You, you might want to go lay down. She was like, yeah, I'm tired. So she gets to her building. She greets people in her building. You know, her neighbor's throwing a party. She tell um, the doorman, child, keep them gift baskets and shit. I want to marry Christmas. So she go upstairs to her apartment. She had no food in there, refrigerator, but some little, some little Chinese food. And she drank the wine. She don't ever eat the food. I pay attention to detail. And then she go upstairs. She get herself ready for bed. Mind you, she had put the picture down, face down, on the counter. And when she went back in there to put the wine up, the picture was up. And she was like, what the? And then she put it back face down. So, um... Then her mama show up, sitting on the bed with a flip phone, talking about, girl, help me work this phone. She's like, bitch, I know. I know you want to hear I think you is. I know. So she get up, go run in the bathroom, lock the door. The mama pop up in the bathroom with her. And she trying to get out. Her mama said, girl, you locked that door, yeah. And she like, mm-mm, bitch, you is dead. What is you doing here? No, ma'am. And so she like, all right, bet. If you my mama, run down all the things you know about me. Her mama like, girl, you love Mexican food? She was like, everybody love Mexican food. And she was like, well, who was my first kiss? And she was like, some boy named Ralphie, Ronald, Russell, something another. And then, you know, her mama would hand say, girl, the reason you only like Mexican food because you didn't like nothing else. So she gave her mama a hug. She's like, oh, my God, mom, it's you. Now, mind you, the lady who was playing Tony Braxton, mama, looked like she could have been her sister. And they even, you know, said that. I was like, girl, you know we could have loved me be sisters. Yeah, because y'all probably around the goddamn same age. But because Tony's short, y'all could pull off the whole mother daughter thing. So she like, come on, girl, get dressed because we got places to go. And she like, what? And she was like, is you finna do the three thing? And she was like, mm-hmm. Go get your ass dressed. So she put on this cute little sparkly outfit, you know, whatever the case may be. And she like, girl, give me your hand and let's go. And they woo-woo magic to the past and they show up to her apartment back when she was in college in her 20s and she like uh -uh. i know we did not come here i know the fuck you lying why are we here why are we here she like because girl you need to see so we see that you know she was young and vibrant i didn't care for that wig they had on young taylor but i digress um she young, she vibrant, she was a gay shit, this dude named Steve, he was going to meet her mommy and daddy for the first time, he gave her this cute little angel ornament, and then she get a phone call, mind you, you know, present day Taylor is over there freaking out like, girl, uh-uh, I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here, she having a panic attack, she's like, no, girl, don't you answer that goddamn phone, her mama like, you do know she can't hear you, she's like, uh-uh, I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here, why are you doing this to me? That's when they get to the hospital. She bump into uh, Justin the Driver, played by uh, Michael J. White, or Marcus. Marcus! <laughs> and uh, she run in to figure out what's going on with her mom and daddy. They would see her in the chapel in the hospital. And she praying and crying, praying and crying. And the doctor comes in and tell her they didn't make it. And... Tony being able to exude that heartache and that pain in that scene and not really have too much of like no talking was everything. Tony Brax could act her ass off, okay? Um, <clears throat> but we figured that out when she had to play that teacher in that movie on Lifetime. Um, so of course the fiance coming there, you know, he give her a hug, she pushed him away, and she like, no, uh uh, and she run out of the chapel. And we go back to uh, present day. And she wake up out of her sleep. I think her and her mama had gotten into it. And so, oh, her mama basically told her why she was there. Her mama was like, look, me and your daddy have been watching over you for the past 20 years. And the fact that you ain't got love and you walking around here every Christmas and you push people away and you think money equates to happiness. No, ma'am, that ain't it. So I can't. To fix it because you will not no ma'am no ma'am so then after that her mama take her to the present day things and her mama take her to go see 
the boyfriend. And so he ran there bad engagement rings. So her, her mama sitting there talking to mama over there trying on jewelry. She like, um, excuse me, sir. Mm -mm, don't do that. Don't, sir, don't, don't do that. No, don't do that. And the mama like, girl, okay, and you. Girl, look at the sparkles. You know, mama trying on jewelry, getting her life. And she like, I, I need you. She like, girl, he can't hear you. He can't hear you. He can't hear you. So then after that, we see him. Oh, well, we saw that he had bought the ring earlier that day. And he was going to propose to her. And then we see him down at the bar. After Sheena basically told him to kick rocks. Down at her office. And he talking to this um, waitress or whatever. And she was like, you know what? That's a vibe. That's what he should be. So after that, then her mama take her around there to um, her uh, COO's house. I think that man's name was John. Or he might have been Paul. I don't know. And you know... If you ever seen the actual Christmas Carol, it's where you know um, Scrooge's nephew throwing a party with all his people, and yeah, so it was kind of like that because Alexis and I had no family. So, you know, him and his family they playing um, Pictionary, mind you, they the adults can't see Alexis or her mother, but John or whatever his name is, his granddaughter can see them. So, Alexis is standing there talking about, it's Santa, baby. And so, you know, the granddaughter was like, it's Santa Claus because she can hear Alexis. And she not only can hear and see Alexis, she can hear and see her mom, too. So, you know, while they're sitting there having that conversation, you know, she go in the kitchen, she grabbing the people drinks and stuff. And then John, brother, sister, or whoever the other people was going there, they started talking shit like, you know, Alexis is a horrible person because he get ready to lose his house and somebody was sick. And so he came in the kitchen like, baby, don't feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for Alexis. She ain't got nobody. She all by herself. Don't want to be all by myself. Y'all know I love to say, <laughs> I got a little ditty for everything. Um, so Alexis and her mama standing in the kitchen and she was like, you know what? I'm not finished to do this. So she going outside and her mama like, you ready to go? And she was like, why are you doing this? And you know, her and her mama get into it again. Her mama, sorry, bitch. Just the game she want to play. Cool, pal. I'm gone. So then she wake up again because she realized her mama had to show her the future. She was like, mm -mm, we're not doing this. Mm -mm. So the mama leave. And she wake back up in her bed. And she like, Mom, Mom. And then her daddy finally show up. She like, oh my God, Daddy. And, you know, she excited to see her daddy. And she was like, are you here to show me my future? He was like, yep. Let's go. And so they get to the future and there go her mom. <clears throat> standing, she said, oh my God, Mom, I thought you left. I love you. And, you know, she's standing in this cute little white dress. Because she was in this pink sparkly dress. And she was in a silver dress. Give it very much Tina Turner. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. I give up. I told you I had to do it for every day. <laughs> so she's standing up with her mom and them and stuff. And so, you know, they show her the side where her side for her company used to be. She's like, oh, I moved. I probably got a bigger space. And the mom and dad look at each other like, so this bitch ain't fixed. She ain't, she ain't get it. And they was like, mm-mm. He's like, what the fuck you mean? Uh-uh. She lied. Give me your hands. Where am I? Show me. So they show her and they bring her to the little room in the hospital. And she was like, is that me? She was like, how long I been sick? They was like, girl, you been sick a minute. And she was like, it ain't nobody here. They was like, girl, ain't you ain't got nobody. It's just you and the nursing staff. You gonna be... All by yourself with the nursing staff. All by yourself. She said, uh, uh the mama said, see, and this is why we are here. Because you push people away. You don't want to be bothered with nobody. Ever since me and your daddy died. She was like, because when y'all died, it made me realize that loving somebody means that I could lose them. And I don't want to have to go through that shit ever again. And they was like, um, Alexis, we don't have time for your foolishness. But somewhere along that, I think Alexis figured it out. 
that she need love in her life. You know, because just like in a regular Christmas carol, she woke up on Christmas morning. You know, her mom and daddy totally loved them and all that. She woke up with the, uh, the book, A Christmas Carol, and the mom and daddy had signed it. And it woke up to the page where Ebony Screws had went through his journey and realized, baby, you got to let love in, okay? You got to let love in. So, of course, Justin called her. He like, good morning, Alexis. She like, good morning. What day is it? He like, bitch, it's Christmas. I'm downstairs waiting on you. She was like, okay. And man, she up there talking to herself. Oh my God, mama. And he was like, girl, what? Is you still drunk? And she was like, no. She was like, Merry Christmas, though. And hung up the phone. He said, that bitch drunk all that while. She's still drunk. So man, then she called um the C the COO man, because I don't know his damn name. And she was like, hey, did you make it to the office yet? Mind you, that man was almost out the door. She was like, okay, well, don't go nowhere because I'm on my way over there to talk to you. He was like, okay. Immediately, his mind, this bitch for to come fire me. This bitch is coming right here to find me on Christmas Day. This old heartless, raggedy wig wearing bitch. <laughs> like, that whole come right here to find me. So her mama left in this cute little red dress because, baby, the mama was ordered with the fashions, okay? And she get herself, she get all pretty or whatever. She come downstairs and just like, oh, well, look at you. Go ahead, Red. Mm. She was like, ain't it cute? He was like, girl, something different about you. She was like, it might be the red. It might be the dress. He was like, no, something definitely different. So she get in the car or whatever and she buck herself in and she just sitting there. He was like, you all right? She was like, of course I'm all right. What's wrong with you? He like, what's wrong with you? You ain't on your phone. Normally you back there click, click, clack, clack, clack it away. She was like, come on, we got to go to the CEO man house. So go to the CEO man house or whatever. She said, I got the door. She let herself out the car. She go knock on that man door. She said, hey, I want to talk to you for a minute. And he like, um, girl, what? What, what happened? You, you coming to find me? She was like, no. No, I'm not. I just wanted to talk to you. So she come in there and she speak to his family. She said, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? And all the white people was looking like, bitch, what the fuck she doing? So they go in the kitchen and Alexa said, look here, everybody deserved their bonuses. Um, You deserve a raise. She had him the bonus. He opened the thing. He said, girl, you showed us the, this what you, she says, yes, you need that for you and your family. And she let it slip that um she knew somebody was sick or whatever. And he was like, what? She was like, don't even worry about it. Just know, I know. You deserve to be compensated for all the hard work. You've been rocking with your girl for years. And you deserve to be paid for what you done did. So don't worry. You're going to get you a raise. Everybody going to get their bonus. See you at the office. Well, he don't, she said, enjoy your Christmas, right? She tell everybody, all right, y'all, bye. So little mama, the granddaughter, she ran over there. She said, hi, Alexis. She said, hi, how are you? Merry Christmas. And she says, where's your mommy? And everybody was, and her grandpa was like, girl, what? And Alexis was like, my mommy? And she was like, yeah, your mom, you were here with her last night. And then Alexis realized the girl saw her. And she was like, you know, kids and their imagination. But she was like, my mom. So um, after that, Alexis leaves. She go back to the office. Mind you, the staff still hot. Everybody mad. They're like, oh, that bitch that told us we had to come to work on Christmas. And she ain't even here yet. So Alexis walking in the door. And she was like, Merry Christmas. And they're like, did that bitch just say Merry Christmas? And she was like, yeah, so I got something to tell all y'all. And they're probably like, hold on, here this bitch go. She was like, so um, y'all deserve y'all bonuses, okay? <laughs> Granted, no, we didn't meet our numbers, but we still made a whole lot of money. So she handed out the little envelope. She said, everybody going to get that Christmas bonus, and y'all got Christmas off. So take this money and get the fuck on. So Maya, she get ready to leave because everybody like, okay, bitch. Run. <laughs> we ain't finna ask that nail question. Thank you. Merry Christmas, girl. Bye. So the new little intern uh, assistant girl was like, um, ma'am, I, I think you gave me this by accident. And she handed the, the envelope back to Alexis. And Alexis said, baby, let me tell you something. Yes, you are new here. But when somebody hand you money, you take it. I was like, exactly, girl. You don't ask no questions. You get on the pot of here. Alexis said, girl, take that money and go, goodbye. Bye, girl, goodbye. And she was like, Alexis like, I only came to grab some. I'm going to be here now myself. Go enjoy your Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas. So Alexis just took one of them people, Reefs, from around them. 
She come down the elevator with a big ass reef. I said, she stay stealing from around here. No, she, she took the cookies on last night. She took the people reef. So she come downstairs and her and uh Jace Justin, they take a picture in front of the, um, the tree. She was like, everybody didn't take a picture in front of the tree but me. So she had him the phone and was like, you do it because you know your arms are longer than mine. So he thinking he, she was like, no, we're going to take a selfie. And she was like, and they took a selfie or whatever. So they get in the car and she goes to the church to see her ex-fiance, Steve, who is now past Steve. And so, you know, she kind of had to brace herself for what was going on. And Justin was like, girl, when the last time you saw this man? And she's like, I ain't seen him in 20 years. And Justin was like, you ain't seen him since the night? She was like, yeah, so I got to go in here and, you know, make amends. So she get out the car, whatever she told Jason, I'll be right back. So she go in there. And, you know, Steve, you know, he still looked the same. They just, you know, went ahead and sprayed, sprayed some gray in his half growing in his spirit. And, um, he was like, oh my God, Alexis, is high. And, you know, she apologized for what was going on. And, you know, she was just like, you know, at that time with me losing my parents and seeing like, you know, that type of stuff, I just, I feel like I couldn't love nobody. And she apologized to him. And he was like, I understand. He was like, you know what? Cause that night watching you run away from, you know, not only me, but out of the chapel, the church away from your faith that actually brought me closer. And now I'm a pastor. I got a wife, two kids. And then, you know, he pulled out the box and he was like, you know, I held on to this for you for 20 years. And it was the crystal angel he had gave her for Christmas. And she was like, oh my, thank you. And so, you know, they hug and then she leave. And he was like, oh, wow, girl, now you done came here and got a gift. And so they get in the car. She's like, okay, I got another stop. So she get out over there at the boyfriend house. And mind you, she got a suitcase and everything. And Justin was like, you good? She was like, yeah, I got it. And, um. When he was helping her with the bag, they had touched hands, and they felt the spark and the vibe, okay? Um, and she was like, can you wait for me? He was like, yeah, I got you. And so then he called his sister. By the way, his sister was played by um, Tony Braxton's actual sister, Tawanda. And I love me some Tawanda Braxton, but she can't act. So hopefully Tawanda then got better since, since this movie. I don't know if Tawanda been in anything else, but okay. The only Braxton sisters who could act is Tony and Trina. And if y'all want to know what with Trina in, Trina played the sad piece in uh, Tyler Perry's Meet the Brown, the play. So, yeah. So, um, what happened? Oh, so she go upstairs and she give him all his shit. And she had all his stuff packed up in a suitcase. And she was like, look, this ain't gonna work, okay? You a nice man and hopefully you and the waitress can kick it. And he was like the waitress. And she was like, um, or somebody or whatever, but this ain't it. And you know this wasn't it. And I knew it wasn't it. Okay. And he was like, um, how did you even get here? And she was like, Justin. He was like, Justin been driving you around all day on Christmas. And she was like, Yeah, you know, Justin always there for me. And he does stuff for me. And then it clicks. That she actually had somebody who cared about her. She just ain't see it. She ain't see it. So, um, she go back downstairs and she gets in the front of the car. And just like, girl, what you doing? She like, um, come get in this car. Come on, we going. So then he take her to, um, the angel house finally. After, you know, he talked to his sister on the phone and help, got his sister to help him set up a little surprise. So he take her to the angel house and, you know, she's like, oh, my God, this is beautiful. And then they walk to the door, and she was like, what are you doing? Like, you can't just be walking in these people's house. I don't even know this is okay. What about the owner? He said, Alexis, it is okay. I'm the owner. And she was like, what? He was like, yeah, this is my house. So he bring her in the house, <clears throat> and it's all nicely decorated, and there's candles and stuff everywhere. And she was like, when did you do this? And he was like, I had a little help from my sister who, you know, then ran past the window. And so they sit down and they get to talking and they get to talking about how, you know, he has a very large um, car service business. And Alexis was like, hold up. If you got all these cars, why have you been driving me around? And he was like, because you make time for the things you care about. And Alexis was like, you care about me? He was like, yeah. I mean, I've been giving you ornaments and Stuff like that, you know, you encourage me and all of this stuff. And so he 
they get ready to kiss and then he go and get her this box that has like this beautiful double hearted ornament in it and as they get ready to um put it on the tree her mom and dad show up and her mama said i like this one and so she's standing there and her mom and dad and they're like we love you and so <clears throat> uh you know she uh she was like i love you too and the next thing you know it was like a flash of light that hit the um ornament and it just was like girl did you see that and she was like yeah it was like a poof she was like yeah and then they kissed and that kiss was cute i was like oh but it was definitely a cute little movie. Um, I give it an eight. What did I write this down? I low key thought she was gonna be singing in the movie. I thought. Um, I give it an eight and a half out of ten. You know, like I said, the younger wig on um, the wig on younger Alexis bothered me. Tawanda need acting classes. Oh, <clears throat> in the scene when he had came home after he dropped off in the beginning of the movie. The cookie. So, his mama was eating the gingerbread cookie, right? The gingerbread man cookie. Now, in one shot where they showing, like, the side view back of the mama, the gingerbread man ain't got no head. Then when they showing, like, the front side view of the mama, the gingerbread man got a head, but he ain't got no arms. I'm like, who the fuck edited this part? Because why in one part of the scene, the gingerbread man ain't got no head? Then the one scene, he got head, but he ain't got no arms. Make it make sense. Who edited it? Y'all didn't do a good job. Um, and I like the fact that the daddy ain't give him no new outfit in 20 years. Like, y'all could at least when they went to the thing, the future thing, or when the daddy came back to say bye to the last time when they was at Just Time, the daddy could have had him on a nice little cute little suit. The mama had her cute little dress on. Like, y'all did the daddy dirty. Y'all did the daddy dirty. Um, but it was definitely a cute little remake on, um... <laughs> On a, a Christmas Carol with Tony Braxton, I liked it. You know, Lifetime they make cute little little movies or whatever the case may be. But yeah, y'all, that was my what you watching day eleven of Vlogmas. Um, day twelve and thirteen is coming. Yes, we are gonna get these videos out, and we're never gonna do this again. We're just gonna do twelve days of Vlogmas. <laughs> Lesson learned. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button so you never miss a video when I do up load Mwah. i love you bye and don't forget to thumbs up check the description bar down below for all the information you need to know love you bye